What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, we're back on Konasuba and a new event dropped. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really in the whole know of what's coming up and stuff like that, I don't, this is more of a casual game for me, uh, so I wasn't really expecting anything and well yeah, we got a new event when I logged on today, uh, I've just jumped on just to see what it was like and I might be wrong but I feel like the power requirement for this event was a little bit less than the previous swimsuit event. Uh, yeah, so we smashed that out. 12k is the hardest difficulty to farm. Um, we'll have a look at what the boss is like in a minute. We'll go hit him, or her, sorry, and we'll see what it's like. A lot of free gems in it, so it's definitely worth getting your hands about. And if you look on these hard quests here, so this will be the one I'm going to be farming lately. There's a chance for the four star weapon pieces along with some super chalices that are pretty rare. So yeah, these are the chalices here. And as you can see, the lower levels you go down, the different materials you can get. So it's a good place to farm for some of those rare materials that you otherwise might not be farming at the moment. Uh, I think this is quite good, the dart dagger. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably just going to stick in here and farm this for a little bit. If you didn't understand how these events work, because you haven't took part in them, because you might have missed the, the swimsuit one as it was up, if you've just kind of started along about the same time as me. So basically, if we come back out here, what you'll have is you'll have your normal quests, which you have to complete all of these and complete normal 12. Uh, whilst completing these, uh, you'll get these event tokens and basically you exchange these event tokens in an attempt to battle the boss and we'll jump in we'll do a quick fight with the boss anyway and i'll show you how that works so now that i've finished the normal story i've got 160 of these we jump in so you'll see here the recommended power four and a half, just over four and a half thousand i'll probably be able to farm the normal the hard the, the hard sorry the expert's going to be out of my reach at the minute uh, but yeah, we'll just jump into a battle. You'll see how it kind of works. Uh, this one, most of us have got Melissa because if you started with me, I told you to definitely pull her because she's S S S S S tier. Uh, definitely suggested from all the JP people playing on JP server and that that she's definitely required for the game. So yeah, she works out perfectly this because she's strong against this uh, specific event. Anyway, we'll let this, so I was off auto for a second because, uh, shout out to my boy Higher Standard, by the way, because he put this up on my Discord server. Uh, there's actually a triple speed that I don't ever remember being able to use. I only ever noticed double speed, or maybe that's just because most games I don't expect it to be faster than triple. But yeah, anyway, you get triple speed, that's fantastic. So big shout out to him for clocking it first because I didn't have a clue. So as you can see here, this is the boss's health bar and your sort of best case scenario is you can wipe the boss out in one wave. However, there's no requirement to. Two waves, three waves is fine, especially on the harder stages. So if you don't kill her in this first wave, then the next 15 tokens you start and she'll have whatever remainder HP she has left over from this fight that I'm in at the moment. It looks like I won't clear it I might miss it out just a little bit, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to miss it out. I'll probably have to fight her with like 2 HP left, which is a bit sad. <laughs> so yeah, she's got like 8% health. Uh, we'll jump into it quickly, and then I'll show you what you get for defeating the boss and what to do with it. So here we go, we'll jump back in, prepare, and let's go. It should only take us a second. I quite like this style of events because... There's no real pressure for you to definitely do it. Like, you get a free character out of this. I think it's the last time, the last event that just ended, it was defeat the boss three times and you got the character. I'll see if it's the same requirements. But personally, the character that you're given is trash. I've got the four-star version. And for some weird reason, they've built a character out with the kit that has zero accuracy. She misses all her attacks. So, I don't know if someone can let me know below as to the reason why they do this, but this is a free character. And you'll see there under, or 
old costume down here that says darkness has exceptionally low attack accuracy. They pretty much, this character misses every damn hit that she does. But seems like a sort of buffer. So she's supposed to draw enemy attacks and it boosts physical defense for all allies. She's got a minor recovery for all allies as well. And then she's got a low accuracy more boost to physical defense again. Yeah, not too big, but hey, if maybe you're somehow using darkness somewhere, you can get her and use her as your sub for that 10% boost. I'll go over that just after the end of this because it seems I misinterpreted exactly what was available uh, from that boost. Anyway, we'll beat the boss, and as you see, there's a little exchange shop here, and we've got a couple of meadows now. So the more you farm, the more tokens you get. So you've got a couple of unique skill potions specifically for this darkness character to get her skills up. You've also got your normal skill potion for any other four star character you own. Some scrolls for these legendary and epic weapons. All these different materials. Uh, I don't think there's any. So this is your Axis Eris medals that you can use in other shops. I don't think there's any four star tokens in here so it's pretty much just a resource farm if you're wanting these because it's quite easy to do and the event's on for nine days and then let's see what we get so i've cleared all of normal all of hard let's just see what rewards we get so that was 1100 quartz so that's almost half a 10 pool and 20 skip tickets not too bad for some free rewards and you've got a couple of dailies there that you can get extra okay so yeah Pretty good, definitely get in there and farm it. Uh, we're going to do a little summon right at the very end here. But first, let me just jump in and explain what I misinterpreted yesterday on the video. So, basically, you jump into your party, you know, you've got your main lineup, and below you can choose two characters as sub characters for your main, and they get a 30% of the stats of that character added onto your main. So obviously, better to have 4 star characters in there eventually once you've got enough because their base stats are higher. However, I was explaining about this whole 10% thing with traits. So basically, if you use the same character with the same trait as a sub character like here, you get an additional 10% onto the 30% you already get. That's how it works. So I've cleared that up. That's me. That was my boo-boo. This is what happens when you're just learning new games. So yeah, that's how that works. Now, let's do this tasty pool. Because yesterday, we didn't get Aqua. Oh my, where's Aqua? Where's Aqua? She's gone. Oh no. Oh, She's showing up here though. Do I want to see if she's... Yeah, looks like this is the... Uh... Oh, but this has got all the characters. Oh well, what's the pyjamas? Who have we got here? Let's see, so it looks like we've got a new banner. Oh, it's Megaman. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Do we want her? Let's see, let's have a look at her skills. Oh, it's not low, oh, there it is. So, 189%, that's a big hit. Dark damage to one enemy, moderate reduction of two. This is drop magic defense. Good for a magic team. Uh, 142% damage, 120... Oh, so she does not magic and... Physical damage, that's pretty cool. And then our exclusive trait 7% attack when using dark attacks. Okay, I like it. Not too bad. You've got Wiz in the banner as well. <laughs> Is this one a bit better than the other one? 223% dark magic damage to one enemy. Yeah, pretty hard hitting. 129% magic damage to enemies, moderate boost to your magic attack. And the 7% attack when using dark attacks, okay. And Yun Yun, that's the, that's the aqua that I pulled, if you watched to the end of my last video, holy crap. And is this another magic orientated, oh, I keep pressing that as if it's going to do something. Boost magic attack, yeah. So, basically this is a magic banner, so all these kind of synergize well with boosting magical attack with their traits of boosting any dark attack, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder how those three would perform together. I don't I don't really know. As I've said in many other videos, I don't follow tier lists of that. I kind of pick who I want to use and then judge myself. So, 
I guess we're gonna go for the premium because I do want Aqua still. Uh, sadly, it appears that we don't get anything. So if you're pulling on the pity of a banner and the banner runs out, it looks like you don't really get anything in return for the and uh, like the amount that you've spent towards the pity, which is a shame. Anyway. Let's pull Aqua, and then we can move on to the Pajama Banner. What do we reckon? Tell me down below, am I going to get her? Oh, no. Well, that's a big fat rip. If you didn't know, if it doesn't sparkle, it's not a guaranteed 4 star. And if you didn't get the waitresses behind, it's not a Banner character. So, let's just skip. Maybe goes out of Melissa. Fantastic, I can use her as a sub-character for my Melissa. That's wonderful. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy about that, actually. That's almost as good as pulling my aqua. So that should give me that 10% bonus stats. Fantastic. So there we have it, guys. Yeah. Enjoy the new event. Uh, make sure you get the free hero. Why the hell not? And let me know if you're sad about aqua banner going away. Like, the specifically aqua boosted. I am. Anyway, until next time. See ya.